So there's the look at the 24 campaign. And Tom and Roddy, I think I know the head football coach of the Institute well enough to know that he's going to play these one week at a time as Brent Key now joins us here on our road trip. And I, I know you see August 24th. Behind that, you don't know who you play. You'll worry about it when you get there, right? Yeah. I mean, I actually had to put a uh, tape to schedule up on the wall in my office yesterday just to be able to see, you know, as far as scheduling out game planning and itineraries and whatnot because, yeah, we're, we're focused on right now practicing, you know, staying in the moment one day at a time, one play at a time, being consistent. That's a big message right now is consistency. You come off spring football, you work through the summer conditioning program. You're now in what, week two of camp or starting right. week two. What were some areas that you came into camp saying, hey, guys, we got to address this. Or we've got to improve here. Are there some areas that you're looking to see uh, just how far along you've come? Yeah, I mean, things I talked to the team about, I mean, there, there's, there's no ceiling on your development of toughness, no ceiling on your ability to be more disciplined uh, with what you do. So those are, those are inevitable. Those are going to be every day in this program. Right. Uh, things we had to improve on, being more consistent up front on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Uh, you know, you know the O line more consistent in the pass protection. You know, more time for Haynes. Uh, receivers being more consistent in, in fighting for the ball. Uh, all things to you know, quarterbacks in the spotlight, but everyone else yeah. has has to rally up around him defensively. Uh, you know, I think it goes without saying, stopping the run uh, and, and generating pass rush. Okay. Uh, then, you know, best way, you know, best friend of a corner or, uh, or safety is the pass rush. Sure. So uh, we've ma we've made a lot of progress in that area. Uh, you know. It's the, a lot of personnel-based uh, as well. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, the guy in charge of, of creating more pass rush, of, of stopping the run, is Tyler Santucci on the defense. Comes over from Duke. Really, you know, largely a new staff on the defensive side of the football. What have you seen from that group that gives you encouragement for this year? Energy. Energy uh, from the start. It doesn't matter what day it is. We talk about consistency with everybody, consistency with the staff, consistency with players. Hey, he is consistent of who he is every single day from the time he walks in the building to the time he leaves at night. Uh, the players really respect that. He's a teacher at heart. Uh, he, you know, he's a great fundamental teacher. Uh, but then he's not going to ask those players to do anything that he's not going to do, that he's not going to do with them and, and work as hard as he's going to work. Uh, but I think just his ability to teach, to, 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 to motivate kids. But you, know, you, you can do all those things. You can coach them as hard as you want as long as you have the relationships to start. It's interesting. You have changed, and we were talking about this a, a moment ago, you've changed the perception of your program from the outside in 21 games as a head coach. I mean, what is it about what you've done that now leads you to think, okay, we need to take these next steps you're talking about? Yeah, okay, so you know, in the beginning, you're learning how not to lose, right? And you know, what you have to do not to lose, ball security, penalties, uh, special teams. Right? Then we kind of overcame that, so we got to the point where we started learning how to win. Right? Well, now, now the time is consistent win. You know, it's to consistently win, and when, when you show the team where it, how it's gone, you know, Win loss, win loss, win loss, win loss. Right, the consistency. Well, the only way to build that habit is to do it in practice. Mm -hmm. So much of the hallmarks of a good football team. Uh, yes, you've got to have talented players. Yes, you've got to be buttoned up, disciplined, have consistency. But you've also got to have chemistry and you've got to have confidence. And I feel like just looking around, seeing your body types, seeing how guys have a pep in their step. That's the one thing to me that seems to have really flipped since you've taken over early on in your tenure here. Yeah, you know. I agree. You know, the confidence they have in their self, number one, mm -hmm. all right, the, mm -hmm. then their position, their side of the ball, they've got to have the confidence. Uh, but then the camaraderie, the, the energy yeah. they have, the, you know, and that's built over time. That starts in January. Uh, you know, really, you know, A.J. Artis does an unbelievable job in the, in, in the weight room over the summer of, of, of putting them in situations that, that are uncomfortable and causes them to find comfort in their, in their teammates. Yeah. So, you know, look, the, the, the core values of this program aren't going to change, and, and we're working every day to become a tougher football team, a more physical football team. Ability to dominate, whether you know, dominate the line of scrimmage, dominate the perimeter, both sides of the ball with the way we block, the way we get off blocks. All right, and, and when we came out this week and we finally put the pads on, right, the one thing I was looking for was did it sound different? Mm. Yeah, I wanted to see, I wanted it to sound different, and to this point now, it sounds different. Okay. Yeah, well, being out here yesterday and, and having seen you a couple of times last year, I would say so as well. Luke, I'm super disappointed you didn't ask about the quarterback, so I'll do it. Well, the interview's not over. <laughs> oh, I know, but I, I mean, it's a bit five questions. Well, we got a hey, limit you on know what, you know Haynes what? You King. guys get credit for asking defensive questions, so go, Rob. Yeah, well, <laughs> Haynes King's the most underrated quarterback returning in the ACC this He's year. He's the best quarterback in the ACC. Thank you. What have you seen in his development this year? Well, I think you know, if you look at what to, to see the development this year, you have to understand the development last year, mm -hmm. yeah. where he came in a year's time, all right, new in a system, new at a school, uh, new teammates, getting to know his teammates, being able to learn what ticks they have, 
uh, chemistry with the receivers, the handling, ball handling with the, with the running backs, all of those things. All right, so if you look at the improvement that was made last year, I'm really expecting the same thing to take place because he's, he's as hard on himself as anybody. He doesn't need somebody to be on top of him and stay on, and, and stay on him. He's hard on himself. And that's what you look for in a quarterback position because, uh, you know, we're going to go as he goes. Uh, we, we know that. Um, he knows that, and he's, he answers the challenge. But, Brent, you've also, with Buster's leadership on that side of the ball and what Chris has done at quarterback, mix in Jeep Wade. Obviously, we're going to visit with Norval McKenzie later. Your offensive staff, I mean, you got one of the great luxuries. 83% of the production is back. Yeah. A lot of people touched the ball last year. That's got to make you feel pretty good as you start building toward this schedule. Yeah, you know, having the, uh, having the production coming back, you know, and that starts up front. You know, sure. Having those guys, you know, the continuity, continuity they build or that they bring to the table. All right, but also the continuity and the voices that are talking to them, hearing the same thing yeah. in, in, in the same way, the same delivery. Uh, the addition of Trent has been, has been great at receiver. Uh, he's a guy that, you know, he knows the area from a recruiting standpoint, done a tremendous job at developing that position uh, at his previous stop uh, and, and, you know, really stepped right in and has respect of those guys. And, you know, from, and he walked right in and he was able to gain the respect based on the knowledge of the game that he has. Brent, from an institutional perspective, obviously this is one of the most challenging times in intercollegiate athletics, maybe ever, all right? You guys are in the process of completing, within the next year and a half, a brand new football operations facility. Got NIL, or uh, name, image, and likeness in play. What has been the greatest shift, you think, internally to allow this program to have the resources to compete at the highest level? Well, I mean, it starts with uh, Dr. Cabrera, okay. the president. You know, for him to allow us the resources and give us the support as an athletics program, uh, as a football program, uh, and then from there it's Jay Bat and yeah. his tireless work ethic. Uh, you know what he's doing. You know he's not going to ask anybody to do what he's not going to do. Okay. Right? And that set that sets the tone yeah. from 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 the top. And uh, you know being able to get everyone in, in in the athletic association aligned in the same direction, focusing on the same thing, focusing on what's important and what what affects winning and losing. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, a lot of people are getting ready to watch that game. The best part about Week Zero. You start before everybody, and you know everybody's watching. That's right. right. Yeah. That yeah. opening game in Ireland. So, yeah. safe travels to you and your club, for sure. Well, Thanks, got, Coach. Appreciate I appreciate you all coming yeah. out here, and it's time to go get some practice in. That's, That's right. it. <laughs> yep. We'll send Brent Key back to practice.